Have you ever been in a meeting or in a conversation and things are going well, but then all of a sudden something happens. Maybe somebody says something that somebody else disagrees with and tension starts to build. You can feel the air start to shift and a storm starting to brew. Well, in this video, I wanna share with you seven nonverbal ways that you can reduce that tension. So let's dive straight in with number one, which is all about creating space. When tension builds, there's a tendency to, for people to lean in as they're trying to get their point across. By making space, so this is by either taking a small step back or by leaning back, what you do is you give everybody a bit of breathing room. So number one, create some space. Number two is to break your gaze. Again, when we're trying to make our point, when these tension, when tension starts to rise, there'll be a tendency to really start to make direct eye contact with somebody as you're really trying to make your point. And I've tried to do it through the camera to you there. Again, all you need to do here, this is, this is seen as a sign of aggression, so you need to break your gaze. So either look away or at least soften your gaze. Don't go for the intense stare and don't lean in. Third thing is to tilt your head over to one side. Tilting your head, it makes you look as if you are listening more. It makes it look as if you're trying to understand that person. So just tilting your head is another way of reducing that tension. The fourth thing is to open up. There is a tendency to not want to receive any of the information. I'm going to be standing my ground and we will fold our arms across. We'll close our body off. When tension is building, open up, be open to the discussion, be open to the conversation, show them that you are not, you're not there to resist, you're there to resolve. The fifth thing is to, is to break their state. Now, what I mean by this is the way that we use our body affects the way that we feel. So when tension is starting to build, people start to use their body in a certain way. And all you need to do is to change the way that they're using their body and hopefully that will then change the way that they, the way that they feel. Now the easiest way to do this is to actually get somebody to physically move. And you could say, hey look, let's continue this conversation over here. Now obviously you don't need to do the big gestures that I just did, but just getting somebody to move from one location to another could be enough to get them to use their body in a different way to change the way that they're feeling. The sixth thing, sixth thing is a bit like the, like the, um, like the leaning back, the, the creating space, is to angle our bodies. When we stand head on to somebody, this is another one that is seen as a sign of aggression. You are acting like a brick wall to stop people getting past. By just angling slightly, it will reduce that tension. It will make you seem not so confrontational. And then the final thing is using your breath. Now, I'm not talking about taking a <sighs> big breath here. What I'm talking about is just taking a nice, deep, almost silent breath in. So. And then just allowing yourself to breathe out nice and slowly. Because of mirror neurons, this should cause the other person to also take a deep breath. And as we know, when we take a deep breath, it does actually have a natural calming effect. So there you have it. There are the seven tips. Which one was your favorite? Leave a comment below. If you've got some really cool ideas on how you can, on, on, on how you would suggest that we, that we reduce tension in those situations, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I'm Anthony Lay. Take action. Create your story.